Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing a Lian Li O11 Dynamic Distroplate G1 unboxing. I finally got my hands on the DDC 3.1 pump variant and it has reached end of life, so I was very lucky to be able to get my hands on one of these before they're no longer available, so I am going to be using this in a future build, so if you guys want to see that, go ahead and subscribe because it will be coming in the future. However, let's go ahead and jump into this video. We are going to be doing a unboxing and first impressions of the distribution plate and just see, make sure there's no damage from shipping because new egg to my location tends to have a little bit of issues with that, but it's nothing that I can really complain about because if it was damaged in shipping, I can just go ahead and get a replacement. So let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. Alrighty, so I went ahead and got my trusty dusty rainbow knife it's very nice I only got it for seven bucks on Amazon I may or may not put a link to this in the description a lot of people really like the design of it and the appearance and it is a pretty good knife especially for doing unboxings like this it's not the sharpest knife in the world but for seven bucks you really can't beat it so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut the tape And there we go. So nice packaging. Always good to see. Got some bubbles. And there is the actual distribution plate box. Go ahead and set that down there. Discard this. <laughs> Alrighty. So, as you can see here, we've got the... O11D Distroplate G1, O11 Dynamic or Dynamic XL, DRGB, and DDC 3.1 pump. So, this is going to have the older style pump, but it is swappable to the new 4.2 pump. So I'm most likely going to be swapping that, so I can also do a tutorial on how to swap out that pump. So, if you guys want to see that as well, Stay tuned because that video will most likely be coming up, especially if I'm going to be doing a build vlog on redoing my PC with full custom water cooling. So with that, let's go ahead and get it open. It is heavy. It's way heavier than I thought it was going to be, not gonna lie. Like, I did not know that these distribution plates were so heavy because I've never water cooled before. So this will be my first time water cooling. So absolutely bonkers heavy just ridiculous I thought it was gonna be lighter because it's made of acrylic but then again like I've wow but let's go ahead and open this up get this down view gonna turn this around and oh, got the label still there Gotta cut the label. Try not to cut anything inside the box. There we go. And now. So that's what you see once you get inside the box. First is the RGB cable. It's just kind of sitting there, not really much to it. Uh, you got a bag here, which is taped in. And inside, you've got different size Allen keys that you can see in there. Probably not the best to be able to push that up. It should auto-zoom. Let's see if we get that to focus here really quick. Nope. I believe I turned off auto zoom actually, but you got the screws in here that are used to put it inside the case as well as the Allen keys that are used for the fittings and for those screws. So I'll go ahead and set those off to the side for now. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. Ooh, that is so heavy to get out. Uh, trying to grip it without breaking the box because I want to put it back in after until I'm ready to actually build with it. There we go. Wow. This is a chungus. 
this is really a chungus. I'm gonna go ahead and move the box over to the side to a safe place. Not gonna throw that like I did the other thing. And just slide down the bubble wrap. Oh, that is so nice. I'm just gonna set this down here and voila. That is so nice. That is way better than I thought it was going to look, honestly. That is, the camera does not do this justice. That is, that is really nice. And right here, you see the Lian Li Lee logo. And then right here, you see the EK logo, but that's still covered in the plastic. I'm going to go ahead and leave it that way. It just looks so nice. That's actually really nice. Gonna go ahead and flip it over. Pull off the styrofoam off the back really quick. And I'm going to actually use the styrofoam to set it onto for now. Keep it safe. Now this is really nice. So you see the holes where you've got your 120 millimeter spacing, so that's going to be able to go onto the PC mount, and those are just going to screw right into those, and it just looks fantastic. I am very pleased with this. So you got the plugs, one at the bottom, one at the top here. So nice. I'm very happy with this. The pump, not so much, but it is nice that it's one cable, but at the same time, there's no external power. It'll only be powered by the motherboard, so it is significantly weaker than its 4.2 counterpart. But I'm very, very, very pleased with this, and the acrylic just looks fantastic. There's no weird machine lines or anything in there that I was worried about. It just looks great all around. That is really nice. I'm 100% satisfied with this. That is... It is smaller, like, less liquid than I thought it was going to have. Like, it looks less overall. I'm going to go ahead and flip this back over. Put this back in. cord back in there, flip it back over, styrofoam ear warning apparently. Then you got the RGB cable that just comes off the top of it so that shouldn't be hard to route. That'll actually go straight to one of my RGB headers so that'll be really good. I do wish they put it towards the bottom but it's better that they put it up the top because there's more clearance at the top of the PC case. So that was designed well. Um, I love how many screws there are in it to keep it from leaking. Just absolutely phenomenal. I absolutely love this. Yeah. Not really much else I can say about it. I mean, it's a block of acrylic and acetal with nickel-plated plugs. But I love it. <laughs> yeah, that... I love it. Um, I'm going to be taking out these two plugs for the water cooling, so that way I can go ahead and bring these in here and use both radiator spaces on it. So I will be doing a top and bottom radiator mount in the O11 Dynamic. And I just love it. Absolutely love this thing. Before I go, I'm gonna go ahead and get hole spacing measurements with my ruler. So let's see here, these holes are 
gonna go millimeters here. 25 millimeters apart for these two. 54 millimeters apart. So 54 on the bottom. Uh, you can change that to be the wider ones or even the two closer ones. So let's see here. So it can be 34, 54, or even 74. So it's all multiples that have four in it. So that's interesting to see, but yeah, I just love this thing. Oh, I love how it's not just black on here. It's actually kind of a brushed black. You can see the grain going this way. You can't see it on camera whatsoever, but that is actually really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and take a couple shots with my camera and insert those into the video. That way we can go ahead and get just a little bit better idea of what it looks like up close. Alrighty, so if you guys like this kind of content with the unboxings and the reviewings, go ahead and leave a like and put a comment below on any suggestions you have next. Or if you want to see more like this, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. You'll be able to see more of this content coming up because I am going to be doing a bunch of different unboxings as well as a review of each of these parts. I'm going to be building my own custom loop and it's just going to be awesome and I hope you guys will be along for the ride. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.